Good morning, folks, and welcome back to the Virtual Developers Conference 2020. Uh, I am Ish Sukan, and along with me, there's my friend Girish Mahabir, uh, co-hosting in Krypton today. Girish, over to you. Hope that we don't face any problems that we did yesterday. We already have our first speaker with us, but yeah, let's wait a few minutes. Maybe, yeah, we only have one minute left and get yes. the dev con going. No problem, Girish. Our our next speaker, Josh Tabuido, is already ready. I'm adding her. Uh, it should be like two seconds thing. And uh, three, two, one. Here we go. We have Jeshta on us live. Uh, good morning, Jeshta. Good morning, everyone. So Jeshta is going to uh, talk a bit about design patterns for modern software. Jeshta is also someone um, that's working as a backend developer at LSL Digital. She's also a winner of Web Cup 2018. We are really pleased to have such a person with us tonight, today. We are really pleased to have such a person with us today. Yeah, so Jeshta, maybe talk a bit about yourself first and we get started with our talk. Hello, everyone. I'm uh, Jeshta Bredo. So I code primarily using Go language and PHP. So whenever I'm not coding, I'm just watching anime and reading mangas. So, design pattern for modern software, a pathway to elegant problem solving and coding. What to expect from this presentation? No algorithm, nothing about if, if and else statement, uh, loops, nothing, no problem, uh, no application building, and uh, we will focus only on designing reusable and extensible software using OOP. So what are design patterns or solutions to general problems that software developers face during development? There are different patterns to use uh, to do many different things. And it is, uh, it's taken from brilliant mind from tons of different people that have come together and said that this is the best way that we have in order to do this problem in the cleanest way possible. And that's really what design patterns are really for or really for making your own uh, code cleaner to use, read, less buggy, less error prone than if uh, you were not using it. So, personally, a learning design pattern is fairly straightforward and easy things to do. But actually, the learning process is easier than uh, learning when to use it. Because the biggest problem that people have uh, when using design pattern is that when they learn about them, they are like, wow, this is amazing, and uses them to make their code so much cleaner, and they start throwing design pattern in areas where they are not needed, they are not fit, or they may just be an overkill. So not using them would much be much better. So therefore, learning when to do them is hard, but it is worth it when you, you have more storage. So why design pattern? Reusing design pattern helps to prevent subtle issues that uh, can cause major problems like uh, less buggy code. Uh, this pattern has already been tried and tested, which in return improve uh, good readability for coders and architects familiar with the pattern which is better communication. Many frameworks like Angular, React, and Vue use them. Vue uh, has a state management, which is a state uh, design pattern to implement each single source of truth principle. And it is an efficient and really reliable way to use the concept of OOP, object-oriented uh, programming. So, history, this uh, for gentle Ralph Johnson, Richard Elms, Rick, Eric Kama, and John Lyside are the superheroes who invented the design pattern. If not, designers and developers would still be wondering here and there, wasting time and efforts to find various solutions to recurring problems. Types of design pattern. So we have 23 
we design a pattern which is uh, categorized in creational pattern, a structural pattern, and a behavioral pattern. So, uh, creational pattern are all about cross creation and object creation pattern. It provides various uh, cross and object creation mechanism which increase uh, flexibility and reuse of existing code. Structural patterns are all about class and object composition. Structural design pattern is uh, designed by uh, identifying a simple way to realize a relationship between entities. And behavioral pattern are most specifically concerned with communication between objects. The, uh, design patterns rise in creational behavior and structural. So in creational, uh, we will talk about uh, singleton, builder, and factory method. Structure will be adapter, and behavior will, will be command design pattern. We start with the first uh, singleton. Singleton, in simple words, uh, it is uh, used to limit creation only to create only one stance of uh, a clause. It provides only one global access point to that object. In other words, a singleton encapsulates a unique resource and make it ready, readily available throughout the application. And uh, we can say that uh, singleton acts as a command ensuring orderly access to the shared resource. So when should we go for a singleton? When a clause has no attribute, so it has no state, and we are passing value, value as a method parameters. And the second case is when the case is a read-only state. So the anatomy for PHP uh, singleton. So you need to have a private constructor to prevent direct creation of object from the clause. And all expensive process is performed within the private constructor. There should also be a static method to create a, an instance from the clause. The object will be created only if it wasn't already created. Let me give you a little demo on so this. Uh, singleton. Yeah. So we have taken an example of a database connector, which is our singleton clause. So we have a constructor here, which is private to pre prevent initiation with outer code, and all the extensive expensive process is made is made uh, here. Uh, the object is created from within the clause itself only if the clause has no instance. So we have checked if it is already connected, uh, already have an instance. If yes, it will make a new database connect connector and uh, else it will receive its, it will return itself. So I have two, uh, two object trying to connect to database connector and there is a check on if uh, the, the, these two objects are the same. So, service connection initialize only once, and it has written bool true. So, it is the same instance. Next, uh, we will do it in Go language. So, now in the anatomy for Go, it has multiple ways to implement a singleton. Two of them are init from, and the second is sync that once in sync package. So in the package init, uh, it is guaranteed to be called only once as it will be run at uh, in when it is building. All call from a single thread, and lastly, they are thread safe unless you make them single threaded. And the second one is sync dot once. So, think that once uh, the do call the function f if and only if do is being called for the first time for this instance of once. 
In other words, Joe is intended for initialization that must be run exactly once, and that's exactly what we need for our singleton pattern. So the attorney for um, we'll just use the init method and the singlet ones. In this, we have to define our single object as private, treat our global variable as type pointer to the single object, and declare function that provide a global, global point of access to that instance. So we check it uh, in the. Right. So we have our main. A single term. So this is uh, this one is implemented using the init. So we just have to call the init function. This is my singleton object and the global variable of type pointer. And this get instance is uh, is used to return the instance of uh, our singleton. So if I have to run this. OK, so main with init, test it with init first. Let me. Oh. So initializing singleton A and uh, we have uh, twice uh, we have this creation of uh, singleton instance X and Y. So it's the same. Uh, we have initialized it only once. Now with uh, the sync package, Okay, these so in this case we have a manager which is our singleton singleton uh, class uh, and uh, our global variable of uh, type pointer the sync that once which is the struct and the get manager this uh, once the do function ensures that the singleton is only instantiated only once and these are the helper methods. So let's let test this one. So initializing now. We sync. So using sync that once, and uh, the first creation is to check the first creation. We have instantiate it to be off, and the state manager try to see uh, to check if it's off. If it is, it will set it to on. So here it is, and the latter do the reverse. So the output is uh, the state is of for the second creation. The next one is a uh, builder, builder design pattern. So me. So the objective. Uh, Build a pattern is used for constructing complex uh, object, is uh, used to create object made from a bunch of other objects. So when do we, do we use a builder? The, when the object constructor is big and requires multiple steps, then it helps in less size of constructor. Secondly, when uh, a different version of the same app project needs to be created. Next is when you want to create uh, you want creation of these but to be independent from the main object. Fourth is when you want to hide parts of creation of parts from the clients to both are not dependent. Then only the builder knows the specific and nobody else does. So it might sound a bit complicated, but it is uh, rather simple. Okay, not simple, it's okay. The anatomy uh, angle is the same. We need to have a builder interface that uh, represents a uh, high level abstraction on the actual object graph carving. Uh, build concrete builder class, which is an implementation of the builder interface, different builder implementation. Fourth is uh, we need to have a director class that calls the appropriate builder and return it. And lastly, the final product of the concrete builder as well. Let's say, uh, let's say a case example. Let's say the, cl the client wants to have a burger, which can be veg or non-veg. Both version of burger are different. 
So when using the divine pattern, we'll have to create a burger builder interface, a veg burger builder and a non veg burger builder, which is a concrete uh, builder implementing this uh, burger builder interface and our director, which is a burger creator, which will call the appropriate builder and return it. Let's check it in in PHP when how are we going to implement? So uh, I have my uh, burger class. Uh, this is my builder interface. It provides the method for preparing the builder and the get food will return the final object, which is the burger. So we have two concrete builders, veg burger and then veg burger builder. Both implement burger builder. As you can see, all the methods are being implemented. So, and the director, which is a final piece of, in this uh, design pattern. The build burger's main responsibility of the director is to get the builder interface and call the builder method, then retrieve the object. This is uh, the builder interface and uh, the, bu the builder method. So here, uh, it is returning the object. So if uh, we have to test this, so we have to create firstly the director instance, initialize our concrete uh, builders mm -hmm. and build our burger. So if uh, we test this, so we have our two burgers uh, being built, veg and non-veg. Now in the case of Go, in the case of Go, we, uh, yes. So again, we have this uh, interface being the burger builder interface, our concrete uh, builders, which implement the burger builder, and our director. So uh, please note that I have a helper method set burger because I don't want to create the director again, so just have to use a set burger after making an instance of a new director. So if we have to test this, so testing this one. So, okay, I have get the instance of uh, the burger builders, created a new director and build the burger. And this is the helper method used in order not to make another instance of director. So we have tested this part of code and so that uh, it's working and using this uh, builder method. The next one is a uh, factory method. Factory method provides a way to hide the creation logic of the instance being created. It also allows creation of various types of objects without necessarily knowing what kind of uh, object it creates or how it creates. So when do we use this one? You need to, when you need to provide a high level of flexibility in your code, when you need to centralize the class selection code, when you need to encapsulate object creation, or when you don't want the use, user to have to know every subclass. So we go directly to the class example that is example. So we have uh, in our example, we have a vehicle interface which define the method a vehicle should have. There is a vehicle clause that implements the this interface. And we are going to have two concrete uh, clause, which is a uh, Toyota and Laura Ibsen. And uh, we are going to have the vehicle factory clause, which will create the vehicle of type car or ship. In PHP, we'll use index.php as a client instead of directly interacting with the car or ship class. It relies on the vehicle factory to create instances of car or ship. And in Golang, we'll use the main group as the client. So let's out. So we have our vehicle interface, 
it's defined all the methods a vehicle should have. A concrete uh, clause of clause core and ship, which implements the vehicle interface and uh, the vehicle factory. So if I want to create a clause of uh, ship, we just have to call this create method and it will return the appropriate clause. So the client is, so we create a vehicle factory, create the vehicle object and uh, use the vehicle factory that uh, create to get the instance of call or the instance of ship. So if I have to try this, so by using the vehicle factory of call and uh, of an object of ship. Now in if we have to do this in Go, so uh, in Go, again, this is the, the interface and the method. The, I have the vehicle, dot, the vehicle clause here, and I have made ship and car embed the ship uh, struct has embedded the vehicle struct and hence both ship and core can uh, indirectly implement all the method from I uh, vehicle interface. So I don't have to to implement uh, these uh, methods again. So it's uh, as you know, Go does not uh, does not do inheritance. So we do composing instead, composing class instead of uh, inheriting. So to test this one. So I have uh, two object uh, core and ship using uh, vehicle factory. And let's see what it gives us again. So this one, uh, the Toyota is returning the vehicle to Corolla and uh, the ship is returning Ocean 3K, which is of type ship. So this design pattern is implemented successfully. The next one is adapter. Adapter. OK, let's see the benefit of uh, factory method first. If you need to change and rename or replace a vehicle class later on, you can do so. And you will only have to modify the code in the factory instead of everywhere in your project that uses the vehicle class. And secondly, if creating the object is complicated, is it complicated yet you can do it, do all the work in the factory instead of repeating it every time you want to create a new instance. Now the structural uh, design pattern, adapter. Adapter design pattern is responsible for adaptation of two incompatible incompatible interfaces, but uh, but the inner functionality should uh, suit the need. Like uh, if you have an interface which is incompatible, the inner functionality must be the same as uh, the other interface. So it is responsible to join the uh, functionality of independent or incompatible interfaces without modifying their in, in implementation. And uh, adapter also uh, also allow independence match and all comp component to a new system. That was what I was talking about in the functionality. Yes, okay. So what, when do we have to? When the object implement a different interface as required by the client. So we'll, it is much more simpler uh, by using a, a case example. We have a clause, which is a customer that is expecting some features of uh, an object, which is a pay hub. But we have another object called Adapti, which is payment which offer the same functionality, but through a different interface. So the anatomy of Go and PHP, we need to have a target, 
it, which is an free PayHub interface, uh, payment to PayHub adapter, which adapt to the talk interface, and adapting the bank, this one, existing uh, interface that needs adapting, and a client to collaborate with object conforming to the target interface. So, in PHP, uh, if I have to do it in PHP, we have this uh, adapter, okay. This is how we do it in adapter. So, the problem statement, the customer can buy item and uh, pay with payhub as uh, the buy method takes in parameters of uh, of payhub interface. But what if uh, the customer wants to buy item and pay with an, a different interface payment, then errors will occur. So we need to adapt payment as payment offers the same functionality but uh, through different interface, add one item and at the uh, price to total, these two are the different uh, methods implemented by payment. But you can see that the functionality is still the same with PayHub. So we need an adapter to payment to PayHub adapter, implements PayHub, which is the interface, so in order to hold um, to hold reference, we need to pass a new class object through the constructor. And the adapter hold a reference to the new class. And uh, let the name of the method of the old class is uh, still being kept here. But uh, this class has already implemented payhub. As you can see, we have this method add item and add price but we are using the methods of the payment. So let's test this. Okay, uh, this is our adapter. This is our adapter and the customer want to be using this, uh, this adapter. So test it. Okay, one item added lollipop uh, and the price is two. So it's good, it's working. Uh, design is done, um, it's good. So I have to do this in uh, Go language. The same anatomy is being uh, followed. I have my customer, which is, uh, which want to buy using the IP hub uh, interface and uh, the payment here, which is the adapter, the adapter which implement the IP hub interface. So the adapter, so we have implemented the old uh, class interface here, still the same as in the PHP. So let's just this one. Yes, adapter, adapter and client. So this one is using PayHub directly, but this one is using the adapter. Let me check how it is. It's working perfectly. So uh, this is uh, the adapter design pattern. The next and the last is um, Behavioral design pattern. Behavioral uh, design pattern. So in this command, uh, present it. So in the in the command pattern, an object encapsulates everything needed uh, to execute a method in another object. So it is pretty common in PHP. This uh, command pattern is uh, pretty common using PHP. It is used for queuing tasks, tracking history of executed tasks, and performing the undoable task. Uh, 
and uh, command design pattern uh, focuses on following question. So what clause does it consist of? Uh, what uh, roles do these clauses play? And in what way the elements uh, of this pattern are related? And if, uh, let's see, yes. Uh, basic component for behavioral command pattern is uh, one should have a receiver, a command, an invoker, and the client. This is a basic component. So receiver, uh, the receiver contains business logic. From an object, only delayed its request to the receiver. Command embeds a receiver and bind, binds it to a particular uh, action of the receiver. Third one is the invoker, which embeds command and invokes command by calling the command execute methods. And lastly, client, it creates command with appropriate receiver by passing the receiver to the command constructor. It also associates the resulting command with an invoker. So when do we uh, use uh, this uh, design pattern? When you need a command to have a span independent of the original request, when you need to, to do undo, redo operation, the command's execution can be stored for reversing its uh, effect. And when you need to structure a system around high-level operation, built on primitive operations, so the anatomy for command for both uh, PHP and uh, Golang is uh, pretty much the same. Uh, you have to define a command with a uh, method signature like execute, create one or more derived clauses that encapsulate some subset of the following, like a receiver object, method to invoke, the document to pass. Third is uh, you have to instantiate a command object for each different execution request. Fourth, post the command object from the creator aka, uh, a key, um, sender to the invoker. And lastly, the invoker decides when to execute. So let's see how it is done in PHP. Uh, mm, come on, where is it? So, uh, the interface command, a clause order that implements the command interface, a clause uh, waiter, which is the invoker, and the chief is the receiver. Yes, um, so. This is our interface. The chief is uh, the receiver. It uh, it has two methods, cook pasta and the cake. And uh, our concrete uh, prototype, which is order. Order implements uh, the, in the interface command. And uh, it also has this execute uh, method. So, even, uh, oh, yes, the waiter implements the I command. So if I have to test, testing this one, we have to create an instance of chief, an instance of order, which uh, takes in chief and the action that has to be made. And the order is, uh, the waiter takes in the order. So let's start this one. Okay, the chief is cooking chicken alfredo and the chief is baking a blueberry cheesecake. So this this is how it is done using uh, the PHP method. In uh, so so here oh, oh. So in 
Yes. So in Fogu, okay, we have our chief, uh, the command interface, which implement the only one method execute. The chief is the then we can receive our order. and this waiter which is the invoker so let's check it. if i run this piece of code so yes um a, an order is placed uh, to the chef the attendant uh, take the takes the order which is our waiter yes the chef is cooking chicken alfredo and the chef is baking blueberry cheesecake so it is doing really good. so this is how it is implemented using go language okay, okay. what is uh, the benefit uh, link to this command uh command decouple the a command decouple the object that invokes the operation from one that knows how to perform it it's easy to add new commands because we don't have to change this the existing clauses and lastly a command can be assembled into a composite command so this is it uh, i wish i could uh, talk about facet uh, i already i already have the code for it uh, oh, we'll do have yes, okay. okay. So, yes. So, to conclude, uh, there's a lot of useful design patterns that I have tackled, but I have tackled some important and most uh, used design pattern. And uh, learning how to implement design pattern is easy by learning where where to use and uh, but the learning yes but learning when to use it is uh, pretty hard practice makes perfect one should pay attention when using design patterns as a developer needs to adapt the design pattern to his problem and not try to adapt the problem to the design pattern so this is it thank you for watching Please don't forget to give feedback. Uh, any question? Yeah, we are actually monitoring the live. There's no actual question, but there was one guy that uh, maybe asked you to zoom a bit on the VS Code uh, font. Yes, which one? Uh, uh, oh, okay. It's already my bad. Okay, that's fine. Maybe uh, if you're muted. So this code, oh, um, I, I wish to to say that this code is uh, will be made uh, public. So I please tune on my social network, and I will make this slide and uh, this piece of code uh, public on GitHub. And you can view it, uh, play with it in any way that you want. Uh, I'm sorry for not zooming the line of calls. Uh, that's, that's yes, fine. I cannot uh, hear you. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Yeah. So yeah. I, I Thank you very much again. It was a very nice presentation. Uh, Jeshta, we would you like to to shout out to all the fans that are listening and uh, wait sorry uh, just need to do something maybe if you would like to shout out to all the fans that are, are fans of uh, mscc who are listening who are watching right now and uh, any special words to them uh keep watching keep learning and uh, keep cheering us also <laughs> for us speakers uh, too <laughs> Continue okay. to work harder for okay, our next presentation. Thank you very much. Girish, maybe a few words before we switch over to the sponsor loop. Uh, very nice uh, presentation. And 
the fact that you will be sharing the GitHub link later would be uh, useful for the guys that couldn't see the font. So yeah, that's all, I guess. Yes, thank you very much, guys. Uh, see you in about 20 minutes.